Hello everyone, my name is Arieta Faolu and this is my mythology video for AG363. In this video, I will take you on a roller coaster ride on how I used Kytosin as a host plant resistance to manage the best and diseases of Chinese cabbage. First step, preparation of Kytosin. First of all, I remove the shells from the crab, the red crabs, then clean it well, dry it, and blend it using the blender. Second of all, decalcification. This was done by immersing the uh, blended red crab shells using 3% of hydrogen chloride and leaving it at room temperature overnight. Thirdly, Deproteinization. This was done by uh, using the aqueous dilution of sodium hydroxide, 5% of it, to immerse our blended red crab shells and leaving it again at room temperature overnight. Followed by that, decolorization. This was done by using 0.5% of potassium permanganate and oxalic acid. And lastly, the acetylization. This was done uh, by immersing our uh, blended red grape shell using hot concentration of 40% sodium hydroxide and leave it at room temperature. And now you will get an end product, cactusin. Second step. Preparation of lactic acid. This will cups of brown rice, 180 grams of sugar, and 60 grams of salt into a 5.5 liter bottle of distilled water. To ensure the well mixture of all the ingredients, we close the cap tightly and then give it a good amount of shake. Shape. Then the bottle is to be left in a dark place for seven days. The bottle was visited um, daily to ensure the uh, release of gas out of the bottle and then shaking it again to ensure a wild mixture of the ingredients and leaving it in the dark place for the remaining days. Third step, land preparation. A 6 meter by 1 meter plot was prepared manually using farm implements, followed by mulching the land prepared using weeds before the seedlings were transplanted. Fourth step was the application of lactic acid solution. This was done by mixing 4 cups of lactic acid solution in 8 liters of water and applying it to the uh, whole of the prepared bits. Fifth step, seedling preparation. Seeds were germinated in a germination tray using a sterilized soil. The trays were kept in the nursery until germination occurs and before transplanting the seedlings were taken out to a partially shaded area for the hardening process. The sixth step was the planting of border plants. Seventh step, dipping the seedlings in cytosine solution for 24 hours before transplanting. My investigation consists of three treatments, two of which includes dipping of the seedlings in chitosin solution for 24 hours prior to transplant. In order to make a water solution out of chitosin powder, we froze chitosin powder in the freezer overnight and then cast it into water so that the solvent exchange with water. The seedlings are then dipped into this chitosin water solution for 24 hours. 
and was transplanted right away the next day alongside the non-deeped seedlings in Cardison Solution. Eighth step, planting and maintenance. After transplanting, the crops were watered regularly while weeding was done when needed. Ninth step, folio application of cytosine. This was done by dissolving cytosine powder in water and then applying it on the folio or the leaves for pest and disease control purposes. Our last step, harvesting. When the cabbage are matured and ready, they were harvested by cutting the lowest point possible, leaving the loose outer leaves attached to the stalk. The harvested produce were then weighed using the scale and were used for consumption after recording the required data from it.